So here it is, but I'm in love with the color. And I'm in a lovely bright kitchen. Ah. Honestly, one of the best DIY tools that we've ever purchased. So I've filled all of those little holes. I'm always the type of person who wants to just get the job done. Hello everyone from my beautifully white kitchen. I will show you the finished painting momentarily in this video, but I wanna get stuck into doing this dresser. So if you have been watching us for a while, you know, we bought this dresser when we moved in to store lots of our things before we got built in storage. And it's gorgeous and it fits perfectly between our two doors in our kitchen. And I wanna paint it. So I've got Lick Green O2, which is a lovely kind of, it's kind of got a teal undertone, a gray undertone, but it's like a really like lovely green, which I think will match perfectly with the rest of the green in the kitchen. So we've got like a sage green on the kitchen cupboards, which is Lick Green 09. I'm gonna paint this, I'm gonna sand it all down. I don't love the gray. The gray's fine, but I'm just not a huge fan of gray in general. I want this room to feel warm and cozy, and I feel like gray isn't cozy. So I'm gonna paint it that color, and I think the dark color should make it kind of disappear a little bit more into the wall. First of all, we've got to clean it, sand it. I'm gonna remove all the hinges, all the doors, all the handles, because we're gonna use the handles that were on our old kitchen on there, so we're repurposing them. We had to get rid of them, not get rid of them, but take them off because of the new cupboards being built, we wanted all of the handles to match, so we bought new ones for everything. And then we're gonna repurpose the ones that were there because they're really lovely. Maybe I've got, yeah, here they are. They're like this, gorgeous, gorgeous handles and knobs. Um, I basically got the exact same thing to replace them with, but they're just slightly more um, dark. They're just a darker version. They're kind of more antique brass. These are a bit more brighter brass, um, but they'll look lovely, I think, on this dresser. And then, like I said, I can, um, use anything that's left over in other projects around the house. So I'll definitely be keeping them. But let's get into it. I'm gonna start by giving it a good old clean. I'll show you what it looks like before. Um, we got this for 150 pounds on Facebook Marketplace, absolute bargain, because these go for a lot of money um, online. And I really recommend that you look on your local Facebook page, eBay, Facebook selling sites, and see what furniture people are trying to get rid of locally to you if you're gonna do this kind of project because they look way better. I really love the look of worn down old furniture rather than the brand new dresses. Uh, they just look great. And if you're lucky enough, you'll find one that hasn't got any paint because in an ideal world, I would love one that was just complete wood, um, like an antique wood. You find a lot that are like a pine orange, but this has been painted. There is some wood though, that lovely color there. Um, but yeah, I'll show you it. So here it is. It has these handles which I'm sure someone has put on at some point not my cup of tea so we're going to take those off um this is the color lick green 02 they've kindly gifted me some pots of paint to paint this and I love the back because it's a nice sort of wide um sort of tongue and groove ish paneling I don't know what you'd call that it's probably not really tongue and groove and I love the kind of beep beep at the top um, my only worry like I said is that we've now had these cupboards which you can now see all lovely and painted we just had these cupboards built and I don't want the room to feel like a room full of cupboards, but it's incredibly hard to envisage right now with all of this mess everywhere in the room. So I think basically I'm gonna paint it and if it doesn't work here, if when we've decorated and everything's ready in this room and it's all filled up with all our kitchen stuff and finished, and I feel like this is overkill, I will move this into the hallway. Either way, it's gonna work. I really think we'll find somewhere else though in the house to put it because it's too gorgeous to let go of <laughs> but it can just go next door on the other side of this wall and it will fit perfectly in between these doors just in the hallway look here's a little sneak peek of all the lovely white paint looking really good and our beautiful new windows but just now filming these clips to you i can just see how much brighter the room is because i'm talking to you right now and look how bright i am whereas before i would look so dark because the colors in here were so dark and it just all reflects and I'm in a lovely bright kitchen. Ah.
hinges are off, all the handles, everything is all off now. So it's all separated out, ready for me to paint. I'm gonna do a really light sand. I'm not gonna go crazy because I'm not looking for a perfect finish. All the new cupboards that we've just had done and the cupboards that have been painted, they look beautifully finished and neat and tidy. And this is meant to look like an antique piece of furniture that's not gonna be perfect. So I'm not gonna be excessively filling holes. And I think that's a piece of advice I wanna to give to you is think about what finish you personally like. If you're someone who likes things to look really neat and immaculately finished, then go for it. But if you're someone who actually quite like the vintage kind of antique look, don't worry so much. I used to be really like particular, especially in our old house, some of the DIYs I did, I look back and think, why was I so fussy about the finish when in reality, what I was after was something that looked antique and um, vintage. We're just gonna go for it. So I have lost my proper mask, so I'm using this to make do because it's not too much sanding. I'm gonna sand the top of this wood as well, just to give it a little bit of a refresh. And do you know what? If you're someone who likes the shabby chic look and you don't wanna repaint something, then just using a hand sander, this is like a little mouse sander. I'll leave it linked below. Honestly, one of the best DIY tools that we've ever purchased. So cheap and it does everything. <laughs> um, yeah, if you want it sort of shabby chic kind of antique look then just use one of those sanders really roughly that i've been doing this for about 15 minutes and that's it and that could be your job done but i'm going to sand this to make it look a bit better and then we'll probably put a matte varnish on it just to seal it of the dresser is now sanded and hoovered and as I paint I'm going to use a wet cloth just to make sure there's no dust. I've also tried to hoover up the dust cloths because I'm working with limited space here. Um, I'm in my kitchen but we've got obviously this table full of stuff from renovating so it's not like I have a big room and probably lots of you wouldn't to do this kind of a DIY job so you've got to make do with the space so I'm going to take a wet cloth and I'm just going to start painting. I'm not going to masking tape anything. It's obviously been painted by hand before, not particularly neatly, so I'm not going to be fussy. But yeah, I'm excited to see how the colour shows up. my one coat and this paint is seriously good because it doesn't I feel like I'm gonna do another coat but it doesn't feel like it needs another coat I'll show you as you can see it looks very solidly the color um, it's coming up much more gray on camera it's much more green in real life maybe that's better representation but you can see how how good just the one coat is I'm very happy and it matches really beautifully with our kitchen colour which is in Lick Green 09 
you see it closer up here it's just a very pale sage and I'm gonna do another coat I'm gonna try and tackle another coat I'm a massive plonker I was supposed to fill the holes okay so maybe I'm gonna fill the holes and maybe I'll do the coat tomorrow I'll have a think I'm gonna fill the holes now hmm it's the sort of thing it's like I'm always the type of person who wants to just get the job done but no oh my gosh that's a horrible spider on the window no I'm gonna fill the holes because there are lots of screw holes along this, which I don't really like the look of. That's the only thing that I'm really looking to fill. Any screw holes. I'm not gonna fill these kinds of imperfections here because I quite like them. Um, and the only other thing is there's just a little hole in the front of this um, drawer. And that's kind of it. Oh, and this one here. So any holes that are basically like not, I don't know, not just like, I think this is a screw hole. Just stuff that doesn't look great. I'm going to do that because, yeah, I'm going to do that. So I've filled all of those little holes and just a couple other bits which were screw holes. But like I said, I've not done any of the um, imperfections. Those are screw holes two in a row. I used this wood filler, if anyone's interested. And I'm gonna do the rest of it in the morning. And in the morning, I will show you the end result as well as the kitchen painting, because I've not really shown you properly. And I'll show you in the garage what's been happening in there and some of our plans, which is exciting. Um, but yeah, really happy I actually got this done today and pushed to do it because I wasn't going to. It makes me very happy because, yeah, even if it doesn't go in this kitchen, um, did I say that to you? I think I did, that we're not sure if it's going to be too many cupboards in here if we put it in here. Um, even if it doesn't go in here, it can go in the hallway and it's going to be great. So, Roxy, she's ready for a walk, so I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Time to finish off the dresser. I've just sanded back all of the bits that I filled in yesterday and I'm going to do a second and final coat. Though looking at it, it doesn't even need a second coat. I would only be doing this just to make it super neat. It's all filled in and sanded and ready to go but as you can see it looks like there's two coats on here already like definitely don't need a second coat necessarily but it just means that everything will be properly lovely and neat so I'm going to try and hoover up all of this dust and then get painting but I'm in love with the colour We have finished the second coat and I wanted to hold these up for you to show you how gorgeous this gold so these are the old handles on our kitchen cupboards I want to show you how gorgeous this gold is going to look against the green and this is the little knob and this was what was on there before so obviously I'm going to be careful because it's still wet but look how gorgeous it just looks so perfect it's going to look lovely and then the drawers. It's going to look so good. Really, really happy with that. These did have, obviously, those um, more like this kind of thing. But I think, I think that these work much better because they're a bit more heavy duty and a bit more like a kitchen drawer. And um, these carry kind of heavier things. So that'll be wonderful. But... Yeah, second coat all done. The only thing I do have to do is because I decided to paint the inside of the cupboards, doors that weren't painted before, is um, 
just at the end I need to, when these are totally dry, flip them over and do another coat. On the underside here, can you see? Just needs another coat under there. But I'm kind of like, love the imperfection of it. Like it looks messy and old and I love that about it. Gorgeous. We are now doing the hinges and we tried with the new hinges that we bought, but they didn't work because they had to have this sort of curve to accommodate a bit of a gap between the door. And little hack, if you have hinges on your kitchen or on a cupboard, then these were caked in paint and Alex just put them in white spirit. And then did you use the Swarth? What's it called? figure. Swarth it's figure. A better way Maybe a bit less abrasive, but I can be bothered. Yeah, but if you have swore figure at home, because if you're someone who does a lot of DIY, that's something that you can use to wash off paint. It's like um, exfoliant. And if you have that at home, you probably have white spirit at home. Um, we just put it in a bowl of white spirit for about 15 minutes and then just scrubbed it off with a swore figure and a cloth and they've come up beautifully. I mean, they're not perfect, but it means that the, visibly it's brass rather than paint. So we're going to put these on now. So the, doors can finally be hung. So after much trial and error, Alex has finally oh. done the hinges. We were going to get our carpenter to come and help us because it's actually, oh hey Roxy, <laughs> it's actually quite tricky to hang doors um, and especially if you painted it because it made the doors a little bit wider in some places. You did it! Yeah. Well, also, I lost the spacers, didn't I? There were some wooden spacers for some of the hinges and I lost them. So it's not the neatest job in the world. Oh, it doesn't but matter. We, we use the old We use hinges. the old hinges and they look great now. Look, they've come up all gold. Clean them up, yeah. Um, and I'm just going to touch up some of the paint and then it's all finished. I'll give it a dust. Um, and we're going to have to pop it back in the hallway for the now. For the now? For now. But yeah, really, really happy with that. the final dresser. I am so happy with how this has turned out. You wouldn't even believe. It is everything I imagined. It looks so beautiful here. You can see the difference of the room now when it's white, this beautiful green, and now we've stripped the floors. I've stripped the floors between the beginning of this video filming and now. So we're in the middle of doing the floor renovation. You'll see that in another video. But I'm just so happy. It's the perfect green to match with the green of the kitchen, but it looks a bit different. The height of this dresser just gets me every time. Can you believe how perfectly this fits? Look at the height of it, it matches up to the doors and the space in between the doors, it immaculately fits. Like you would think that we'd had this commissioned for this space, <laughs> it's just perfect. But yeah, I'm in love with the color. I'm in love with the handles. They look crooked. I think that's because they're hanging a bit crooked. Oh well, it's all part of the charm, isn't it? And these are our old kitchen handles, like I said, so they've not gone to waste. We've got two or three more of them and I'll probably use them in some other project of some kind. But yeah, it's just nice to have that part of the old kitchen on here and this is going to hold so much storage and display lots of beautiful things. So, oh, I love it.
I've also had a haircut in the time of this video, so that's why half my hair's chopped off. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've been doing any DIY projects similarly to this and similar, similar <laughs> to this. And stay tuned for the floor renovation as a little sneak peek because that's gonna be the next video or maybe the next two videos. There's been a lot, lots going on with the floors. And this kitchen is like this close. The last big job was the floors and the dresser. That's done. Now we are literally at the point where we need to oil the floors and we need to do touch-ups, like tiny, tiny little um, snagging snagging of just touching up along the edge where we've sanded the floors and moving in. And I just have been without a kitchen, a proper kitchen for about three months. I mean, we have a kitchen in our office, so I can't complain, but we have been without this kitchen for about three or four months. And I just can't wait to get back in the kitchen. I can't wait to start making videos for you again with food and filming recipes and showing you the after. And yeah, make sure you're subscribed if you want to see the makeover and the final reveal of this kitchen because it's not long now. We're really at the last hurdle. And this weekend, I really am aiming to get like 90% of it done to the point where there's just a few bits to finish because we're so close. We're so close. It just needs a good old clean and moving all of our shit in. <laughs> but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up for my beautiful dresser. Look at it. Just look at it. Ah, oh, so happy. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.